Well, good uh, Wednesday evening to you, prayer meeting night. Uh, I was thinking about a verse, and and I found one that I want to read to you, Hebrews uh, 12, 1. Hebrews 12, chapter 1. I mean, Hebrews 12, chapter 12, and verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And as I was thinking about today, is the election is is still going on, and and we're still praying. But you know, no matter what happens today, no matter... What happens? Either person, either our president stays our president or we have a new president, no matter if that which, whichever one happens, we still are called by God to just carry on the race, carry on God's will. Um, and hope hope for a good outcome today, uh, but we shall see. And uh, I just wanted to share that word with you. It says, we're, let us run with patience the race set before us, looking unto Jesus. You know, anything that we are going to do, anything that we are going to plan to do, or anything that we want for our church, is most of all that we are looking to Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. He's made it all possible for us to worship him and serve him. And we're going to keep doing that and standing on his word. We love you. Let me pray. Father, we just come to you tonight. We thank you for, Lord, uh, this day that you've given us. We thank you for this time, Lord, that we can bring our prayer requests and our petitions, Lord, and we lift up those who have been mentioned uh, for Mr. Steve, Mr. Joe, and Miss Terry, who's having the problems with her back. Lord, we just pray that you be with everybody, especially with Mr. Steve, with his treatments that he's having now. And, and Lord, we know that you have the power over cancer and over problems that we have today, and we place them in your hands and for Mr. Joe to continue to get him well, that he can have his surgery, Lord, and for Miss Terry, that they can find out what's wrong with her and the causes of the pain that she's having. And we just place them all in your hands. We place America in your hands today, Lord. You know what what America needs today, and we know what America needs today. And more than anything, America needs to turn back to God and God's word. Lord, help us, we pray, as we ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.